Good morning, Arch Electric. Um, leaders, frontline supervisors, message for the week is we're going to review uh, going into this year in 2020, what were those top 10 violations with OSHA to help to better understand that. Number one citation is fall protection. And that's very, very prevalent to all of us. Okay, so therefore, what are those things that we need to know regarding fall protection? I think first and foremost, a good opportunity is we all are required, my understanding, to do a JSA at the start of a job, start of a shift. And I think it's great to talk about if that pertains in that particular day. Recognizing the hazards, when we're required to wear fall protection. Do we understand we must do a what's called a pre-use inspection before we use it? Do we know how to fit the, the harness, okay? And to make certain that, that D-rings in the middle upper part of our back, but that we double check that to make sure that we're secured and that that hand fits just inside between the leg and the harness that it's a tight fit. Okay, so it's not too loose, not too tight. Um, understanding it's the major cause of death in construction. And that's why there's such an emphasis. Another thing is the regulation on aerial lifts. If we're inside an aerial lift, that's the one with the extension on it, we are required to wear fall protection. Now, talking about a scissors lift, and that's where you got the cage around, with the tow boards. Now, it's not required under the standard, except if you're gonna lean out of within the rails, okay, or the tow board, or you're gonna step on the tow board, uh, harness fall protection is required. And sometimes people wanna circumvent that. And we must understand, we have zero tolerance for no tie-offs, zero, okay? Other requirements. And, and we're doing that when we do our JSAs, assess the site conditions, select the right fall protection, uh, follow safe practices, make sure our people are trained and that they understand. Uh, recognizing edges, sloping surfaces, where there could be holes, all right? Uh, where's tools, where's equipment, uh, the requirement, when is it required to wear it? The guideline is six feet or more. If you're in manufacturing, it's four feet, but with us in construction, it's six feet. Uh, so we gotta be aware of all walking, working surfaces. That includes ladders, includes on a roof, includes any and everything. Um, then fall protection as it relates to um, scaffolding, uh, the type of system we're gonna wear. Um, keep our areas clean is important. Look, listen to use our fall protection. Uh, make sure that our employees are safe from any falling objects. Um, also other things in, in prevention, positioning the device system correctly. Uh, warning lines are monitored if and when they're used. Uh, the tie off I told you about double checking. Uh, make sure that there's uh, everything from, from our climbing onto a roof is clean and smooth, the edge of the roof. Uh, it's a minimum of an overhang of three feet with a ladder. And there's, there's no question that we're gonna follow the, uh, the guidelines to ensure the safety of our workers. And that in general is the message for the week regarding fall protection. Uh, make certain, remember one thing, there's zero tolerance for it. It's making sure how we use it. And there's a reason it's the number one issue consistently on OSHA's hit list. Because people who have failed to use it and use it correctly. With that, have a great week. And until uh, next week, be safe and make great choices.